Welcome to Wealthfinity, your go-to channel for expert advice on all things related to personal finance and wealth management. Today, we'll be discussing a topic that is of critical importance for anyone with a 401k account, how to plan the perfect penalty withdrawal. While it is never ideal to withdraw funds early from your 401k account and incur penalties, there may be situations where it is necessary. Such as in case of a financial emergency or unexpected life event. However, it is important to be well informed and plan ahead to minimize the impact of penalties and taxes on your retirement savings. So, whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out with your retirement planning, be sure to tune into this video to learn how to plan the perfect 401k penalty withdrawal. As a means of preparing for retirement, many people take advantage of a 401k plan offered by their employer. A 401k is a tax-deferred savings plan that allows employees to contribute a portion of their pre-tax income to their retirement savings account. The funds are then invested, with the hope that they will grow over time, allowing the employee to retire with a comfortable nest egg. While the 401k is an excellent way to save for retirement, there is a penalty for early withdrawals that can catch many people off guard. In this video, we will explore the 401k penalty for early withdrawals and explain why it is essential to avoid it. What is the 401k penalty for early withdrawals? The 401k penalty for early withdrawals is a fee charged by the IRS money out of your 401k before you reach age 59 and a half. The penalty is designed to discourage people from raiding their retirement savings accounts prematurely and to ensure that the funds are used for their intended purpose, retirement. The penalty for early withdrawal is 10% of the amount withdrawn, in addition to the taxes owed on the distribution. For example, if you withdraw $10,000 from your 401k before age 59 and a half, you would owe $1,000 in penalties and taxes. It is important to note that there are exceptions to the penalty for early withdrawals. For example, if you become disabled, have significant medical expenses, or need to withdraw funds due to a court order, you may be exempt from the penalty. However, you will still owe taxes on the distribution. Why should you avoid the 401k penalty for early withdrawals? The 401k penalty for early withdrawals can be significant, making it essential to avoid it whenever possible. Here are a few reasons why you should avoid the penalty. 1. You lose the benefit of compounding. When you withdraw money from your 401k before retirement age, you are essentially robbing yourself of the opportunity to earn compound interest on those funds. The longer you leave your money in your 401k, the more time it has to grow, thanks to the power of compound interest. By withdrawing funds early, you are reducing the amount of time your money has to grow, which can have a significant impact on your retirement savings. 2. You could face additional taxes. In addition to the penalty for early withdrawals, you will also owe taxes on the distribution. Depending on your tax bracket, this could result in a substantial tax bill. By leaving your money in your 401k until retirement age, you may be able to reduce your tax burden significantly. 3. You may not be able to replace the funds. If you withdraw money from your 401k early, you may find it challenging to replace those funds. Unless you have a plan to replenish your retirement savings, you could be putting yourself at risk of not having enough money saved for retirement. The 401k penalty for early withdrawals is designed to discourage people from raiding their retirement savings accounts before they reach retirement age. While there are exceptions to the penalty, it is essential to avoid it whenever possible. By leaving your money in your 401k until retirement age, you can take advantage of the power of compound interest, reduce your tax burden, and ensure that you have enough money saved for retirement. Exceptions to Early Withdrawal Penalties while early withdrawals from a 401k account typically result in penalties and taxes, there are some exceptions to this rule. The most common exceptions include Separation from service If you leave your job and are at least 55 years old, you can make penalty-free withdrawals from your 401k account. Disability If you become disabled, you can make penalty-free withdrawals from your 401k account. Substantially equal periodic payments you can avoid the penalty by taking substantially equal periodic payments over a period of at least five years or until you reach age 59 and a half, whichever is longer. Medical expenses. If you have medical expenses that exceed 7.5% of your adjusted gross income, you can withdraw funds from your 401k account penalty-free. First-time home purchase. 
you can withdraw up to $10,000 penalty free from your 401k account to purchase a first time home. Qualified Domestic Relations Order, QDRO. If you are required to make a distribution to an ex spouse under a QDRO, the distribution will not be subject to the 10% penalty. Alternatives to early withdrawals. If you are considering an early withdrawal from your 401k account, it's important to explore alternative options first. Some alternatives include loans. If your employer allows it, you can take out a loan from your 401k account. While you will have to pay interest on the loan, it may be a better option than paying penalties and taxes on an early withdrawal. Delaying retirement. If you can delay retirement for a few years, you can continue to contribute to your 401k account and allow your savings to grow. Roth conversions. If you have a traditional 401k account, you may be able to convert it to a Roth 401k account. While you will owe taxes on the amount converted, you will not owe penalties if you wait 5 years before making withdrawals. Other sources of funds. If you need money for an emergency or unexpected expense, you may be able to tap into other sources of funds, such as a savings account, credit card, or personal loan. We hope that you have found this information helpful and informative, and that you now have a better understanding of the different factors to consider when planning for a 401k penalty withdrawal. Remember, it is always best to avoid penalties and taxes whenever possible, so make sure to explore all other options before resorting to early withdrawals. At Wealthfinity, we are committed to providing you with the most up-to-date and accurate information on personal finance and wealth management. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts or questions. Thank you for watching.